So I genuinely think that The Little Mermaid is a really good live action remake of the classic animated film. I know this film has been riddled with controversy, but I think that, you know, the race bending of Ariel has actually worked as Halle Bailey is so good as playing Ariel. I mean, all of her musical numbers are absolutely incredible. You can really feel this character's motivation quite literally. And I just think she bounces off all of the different characters in a really believable and a really emotional way as well. And her performance was just absolutely flawless. And this film is just so much better than the marketing material made it seem to be, as it's so much more vibrant. All of the different worlds, both in land and at sea, just look so, so good. And all of the character portrayals are so much more layered than the marketing material made it seem to be. If anything, I thought the marketing material made it look as if they're really two-dimensional and not that layered and actually being really difficult to connect with them. But the end result in this film is quite the opposite as you really can see where all of the different character motivations are coming from. And then when their ambitions collide, it's just done in such a catastrophic way. So you're just even more connected to them. And actually, I think because of this, the characters are really, really endearing. As even though, for example, Ursula is doing so many evil things, where you can totally understand where on earth she is coming from, which I just think makes her an even more compelling villain. And similarly, Ariel, you really can feel her motivation quite literally of just being obsessed with the world at the top and nothing will stop her from wanting to explore what the outside world is really like. And because she is so headstrong in trying to achieve this, Ursula really is able to manipulate her to do exactly what she wants her to do. And even King Triton, who I feel like is actually a pretty relatable character in terms of just wanting to protect his kids, but obviously he does things in a really barbaric way sometimes. For example, destroying all of Ariel's possessions from the top and from the shipwrecks, which I feel like a lot of audience members' hearts were bleeding when they could literally see everything that Ariel cared so much about were just heartlessly being destroyed. But then because of this, unknowingly, King Trident has just pushed Ariel away fully as now nothing is holding her back in this sea world. And like I said, Ursula was then able to totally manipulate her because of this. And Ursula is such an evil character as she does this manipulation in terms of coming across as a really helpful aunt that has become a victim of King Triton, so is building a bit of relatability with Ariel and then gives her this opportunity to go up and then just really quickly skims across, quickly flicks away the consequences of Ariel not fulfilling the requirements of the contract. And on that point, be really careful about the contracts that you sign as I feel like The Little Mermaid is a brilliant storyline from that perspective too. And I think Melissa McCarthy was actually really, really funny. I know she got a lot of criticism before this film actually got released, but she had some really laugh out loud moments. For example, when Ariel refers to her for the first time as the sea witch, and Melissa McCarthy's reaction to that was absolutely iconic. And all of her tentacles look really, really evil. The fact that she's got these evil eels that are able to electrocute people were really, really good. So I think Ursula was depicted as such a truly evil villain in the best possible way. And I actually think that Ursula did something very similar to Ariel's mother and actually got her killed, even though it was never officially said in this film. King Triton did refer to the fact that, you know, Ariel's mother was also obsessed with the top world. And I think Ursula did do something to make her die. Just now that her plan is a little bit more sophisticated, she now is a little bit more clever in how she's going to steal the throne from her brother. One of the other things that I love about this movie is the contrast. So they really do show that actually Queen Selina really is scared of the sea world because she has lost a lot of people to the sea world. Which goes back to a famous saying that, you know, people are a lot more similar than you think. As you know, even though both of these different characters occupy very different areas, and you would think mentally that they have very different ways of thinking about things, but actually they're a lot more similar than meets the eye because they just are really scared and fearful and hating the other side that they don't really know much more about. I thought making Prince Eric an adopted son was quite an interesting flip. And you know, he really is obsessed with the sea world. He wants to go on all these quests in the sea, but is being banned from doing this. And so it was also going to rebel in the same way that Ariel is. And then I thought their romance was really, really believable. I just feel like they could have just given this character a bit more charm. As in the animated film, he is a really compelling character. And you can see why Ariel fell in love with him. But I think in this version of the storyline, he just isn't as endearing a lead character. But I can see why they did that, as they wanted to give a lot of the charm instead to Ariel to really make 
know, her storyline. And I think it was the right thing to do in terms of like to the end of this movie to make Ariel the person that killed Ursula instead of Prince Eric as it really is first the Ariel storyline and Ursula has just put her through so much and especially has potentially killed both of her parents. So I think, you know, that flip was done in the right way. And very similarly to the animated movie, you do see that Ariel has got sisters, although they really don't do anything in this movie. They could have definitely given them a lot more to do. But again, clearly they wanted to do that on purpose as they really wanted it to be focused on Ariel's narrative. I thought Sebastian was absolute class. I think David Diggs just voiced him so well and I just loved this character. He was so funny, so many laugh out loud moments. Similarly with everybody in my cinema complex laughing at everything that Ursula and Sebastian was saying as they were just such wicked characters. Flounder was really, really cool. The animated version was way more superior. And I think it is a believable character in terms of, you know, wanted to always be safe, always being really, really scared. And just being Ariel's partner throughout this movie, I thought was really, really good. The same, unfortunately, can't be said about Scuttle. This character, if anything, just really annoyed me. I mean, I love Orcafina. I think she is such a talented actress. But for whatever reason, she just wasn't that great voicing this character. It was a lot of try-hard humour and it just wasn't landing for me at all. But now let's talk about this movie from a positive point of view. So like I said, super vibrant. I do think that they could have pushed this even more to make the sea world even more glamorous and even more exotic. And I mean, they did do that, especially in the Under the Sea song sequence. That was really, really brilliant. And all of the musical numbers in this movie were really, really good. But like I said, I just feel like they could have pushed the vibrancy even more and then just made the darker world that Ursula occupies even more evil as well. And even the shipwreck sequences could have been elevated even further. I mean, they did film it in really glamorous locations, for example, in Italy. And all of the island sequences are really, really good. But I just feel like the at sea sequences could have been better and the sea sequences themselves could have been even more luxurious. But anyway, this is the positive section. So I do think, you know, the characters are really, really layered, are really realistic, actually. You know, even though, you know, it has got a lot to do with mermaids and mythical characters and Ursula doing a lot of witchery and transporting herself into a human version right at the top. So, you know, even though it is a little bit far-fetched, I do actually think the ambitions from all of the different characters are really realistic and really endearing. So I feel like it is able to connect the audience into this really, really well. However, from a negative point of view, I definitely think, even though I love the fact that Ariel was the one to try and kill Ursula, that they could have made the final act really, really more impressive. I mean, Ursula seeing her as this big CGI character and not really having much control and just being really dark, all of that stuff, I just feel like it didn't work as well as it should have done. And even though everything up until that point was being built up really, really well, I just feel like the final act, unfortunately, was just a little bit disappointing. Like I mentioned earlier on, I think Prince Eric was a decent character, but he was just missing a lot of charm. And I just think if he had that, he would have been an even better character. And I would have just loved a little bit more rivalry between all of the sea characters underwater and the characters at the top of the land. And just seeing a bit more rivalry taking place between these two different worlds and characters, which would have ultimately made the final couple of sequences of everyone teaming up and having a happily ever after scenario just means so much more. As you know, they would have just put aside all of their differences that you would have witnessed seeing being built up across this movie. I know they did have a bit of an undercurrent, no pun intended, across this film for that. But like I said, they just could have elevated it and amplified it so much further. So, you know, overall, I did really, really enjoy The Little Mermaid. I think they definitely did try and do something different, which I think is really impressive, especially compared to the Lion King live action remake, which is pretty much a like for like remake of the animated movie. And even though, you know, this film very similarly to Aladdin, even though everything that they tried to experiment with didn't necessarily land, I am really impressed upon the fact that they did actually try to do something different. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the live action remake of The Little Mermaid a solid 6.5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of this film, so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.